What is good, everybody? Welcome back to Boo TV. Appreciate you for stopping in. Like, comment, and subscribe. And let's talk about this topic here. It's been recently reported, I uh, think from The Athletic, that Draymond Green and uh, Poole got in an altercation at Warriors practice and it sounds like it was some verbal sparring going back and forth that's what they reported and you know players getting chest to chest type of thing you know in each other's face normal basketball shit shit happens all the time and then apparently Draymond Green uh struck Jared Poole I'm assuming he punched him they said Poole's okay he wasn't really hurt he was able to continue his workout and practice and then go home. And I guess the Warriors are now looking at disciplinary action against Draymond Green for, for that knuckle game. Hitting him with that knuckle game. What? For punching, for striking uh, Jared Poole. Um, you know, Draymond Green has, I'm not going to say he's had a, a publicized history of uh, striking people in practice or on a court to that degree, you know, like actual fights. Like uh, we know, we obviously know Draymond Green is the tough guy, the enforcer for the Golden State Warriors. You know, kind of brings that old school um, basketball mentality to the team. Gives them some grit. Gives them some muscle. Through his through his character, not so much through his body, but through his character and uh, his demeanor and his ferocity, his tenacity. Uh, but I think this is the first publicized. From what I remember, I could be wrong, but I don't ever remember hearing him hearing about him punch a teammate or strike a, his own teammate in practice. Like he's had altercations. That's normal, Draymond Green. Totally normal Draymond Green now. That, no details has been released about why the altercation started. Um, what was the reason behind it? Did somebody say something to Draymond? Did Draymond say something to Poole? Uh, there was a rumor that Draymond said a line was crossed and that's why he struck him. I don't know how accurate that report is. Um, so that's all we know right now. Uh, hopefully more details uh, surface about this this situation, this altercation between Draymond and Poole. Honestly, I don't think it's that big a deal, to be honest. For me, you know, somebody played basketball, um, obviously not professionally or at a collegiate level, um, but it was, uh, this is just normal basketball stuff, bro, that happens behind the scenes. There's Fights and altercations break out all the time in practice for the majority of the basketball clubs, but they just don't get out. The information normally doesn't get out to the public. They usually keep it in-house, you know, figure it out, and then move on with their season. Um, so the fact that, you know, it, it's, these kind of things don't always get publicized all the time, so the public doesn't hear about it as frequent as it actually happens. And then given the the franchise, the Warriors, and the player Draymond Green, of course, this is going to be heightened, especially now that it's been put out in public. Uh, but really, it's this is just this is just normal as, you know, men will be men. Men will be men. Men will be men. But I'm curious to see uh, what comes out of it, uh, more details, what was said, et cetera, et cetera. But... Men will be men, man. This is regular ass sports competitiveness. Shit talking gets out of hand sometimes. Some fists will be thrown. Knuckle game on point type thing. But uh, yeah, these kind of things happen. And I know, I know that you got the people out there that are like, nah, this is inappropriate behavior, man. Nah. What kind of a teammate are you? You're supposed to be the example. This is a business. Carry yourself with class. I get it. All that is true. I'm not I'm not denying that. 
I'm not. But I'm also the approach like, hey, man, I play sports, man. This shit happens. It's not It's not strange. It's not abnormal. Would you prefer for this stuff not to happen? Sure. But this is sports. Men will be men. You know, you just hope that they can patch it up. If there's really some true animosity there, they really at a crossroads. Maybe they could patch it up. And the team can grow from this experience. You know, it's the best thing you can do with these type of things. Figure it out. Become better from it and grow from it. Whatever, but for me, uh, it's regular ass basketball shit. But if, if more if more details come out, you know, I'll be on it to report it to you guys. You know how we do. And uh make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and tell me what you think about Draymond Green. Draymond Green is a polarizing player. You love him or you hate him. You love him or you hate him. So let me know what you think about Draymond Green. Do you think he was out of line? Do you think it's a big deal? Do you agree with me that this kind of stuff happens all the time in sports and it just doesn't get publicized? And players usually move on and, and grow from it and continue to play ball. Let me know. Let me know. I actually did hear a rumor that, uh, I know I sound like I was about to close this video up. I heard a rumor that Draymond, people are saying, well, Draymond's jealous because he's trying to get that big payday. Draymond is, but he know, you know, pool is really up and coming and they're going to give that, that money to pool. So he's trying to stir something up. Uh, I don't believe that. Could it be true? Anything could be true, but nah, I don't think that's the case, but it's an interesting take. But anyway, let me know what you think about it and uh, like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next one. We out, baby.